When I started out, I thought being a hero meant doing everything right. Now I realize heroes make mistakes all the time. Harry Osborne made the terrible mistake of building the ultimate weaponized goblin mech, which he believed was designed by his late father, Norman. A mistake that's just gotten a thousand times worse. The real designer of this tech was Adrian Toons, the Vulture, who now has gotten his hands on it. But making mistakes doesn't mean you can't be a hero. It's what you do next that defines you. Crushed under the weight of the Osborne family name. How fitting. <laughs> My father stole Toombs' design? What have I done? Once Toombs loads all the next systems, he'll be completely unstoppable. We can't give up, Harry. <laughs> Lenses. I have determined the debris has fractured the structural integrity of the foam. I see it, Ock. Good eye. My analysis of the goblin mech confirms what Harry told us. Once Tombs has its full capacity online, he will be able to control any other machines or technology. Tanks, helicopters, trains. They would become his army of drones. His trajectory suggests he is heading to an offshore military installation, most likely to take control of the extremely dangerous gear stored there. He could bring New York to its knees with that kind of firepower, which is exactly what I would have done. Otto! When I was a villain, which I definitely no longer am. <laughs> Tell me you built some kind of shutdown system into that mech. Uh, I didn't. But it'll take 15 minutes for his main systems to load. If we keep Tombs occupied, I might be able to freeze him out of some of his controls before that happens. Almost finished with an encryption code. It's based on the personal tweaks I made to Tombs' original designs, so he'll never be able to unscramble it. I'll keep Tombs distracted, which is something I've got a lot of practice at. Oh, hey, Tombs. This is awkward, considering last time you saw me, you dropped a building on me. Still trying to be a hero? Too late. Nothing will stop this city from falling to me. Ah. Goodbye, Osborne. Harry! There's still an unsecured port here. Benefits of not having time to beta test this thing. Gotta lock them out of the systems? Just the ones that haven't fully loaded, like the mental interface. Mental interface? This mech can connect directly with Tunes' brain? Not anymore. Where did those fools go? Mental interface. Access encrypted. Encrypted? What did they do? <laughs> It's on me. Dumpster broke our fall. Gross. Eh, you get used to it. Enough! Huh. Hand over the encryption device or I'll crush you both! He's got the world's most dangerous machine and he's stepping on us? Spider-Man, there's a large transport truck going through that intersection in three, two, huh? one. Clear before Tombs finds us. You're hurt. Gotta get Tombs away from you. When will you realize there is no stopping me? Give me that device. Oh, you want this? Come and get it. Huck, I had to leave Harry. He's hurt. Help is on the way. Gold. We were 
sent to get Harry, but looks like he's not the only one hurt. Hey, big guy! Right here! Spider, get those injured spiders back here and protect that encryption device at all costs. You got it, Ock. As weird as that sentence is to say. Mm. No, I need that device. Where are you going? The party isn't over. More gas. Fine. You hide. I'll see. Run! He can't hit what he can't see. That's a heat seeker. It doesn't need to see you to hit you. Good to know. Ghost Spider, judging from the air currents maintaining your velocity, you will not make it back to the spider's nest before Tombs catches you. Then I'm taking a detour. The trees should give me cover. Maybe not. Oh, I think I missed something. Thanks for the save, Ghost Spider. Yeah, you might be thanking me for nothing. Okay, Tombs. New game. Tag. You're it. I think he's down. Thinking you beat me? So naive. The encryption device. No. Oh, yes. The full functions of this mech are now loaded and unlocked. But I'm still standing in your way, Tombs. It's just you and me. Not true in the least, Spider-Man. More members of your weirdly loyal fan club? They don't have to be loyal when I have control of their gear. This <laughs> man can control any machine. Vehicles, weapons, even those masks and armor the goblins are wearing. I now have my own army. A city reacting to the singular brilliance of Adrian Tombs. I even control the news choppers. And to show the world just how powerful I am, the first thing I am going to do is defeat the one person who Norman Osborn, the Jackal, and Otto Octavius couldn't. You, Spider-Man. Okay, so ability to control any machine really does mean any machine. If Tombs can remotely control all machines, how can I tell where the next attack is coming from? I simply do not know, but you are now adjacent to an intersection. Be on the lookout for... You think I'd be better at stopping trucks considering all the experience I have? <laughs> There's gotta be a way to override Tombs' control, right? What do you think I've been trying to do this entire time? The mental interface simply cannot be disrupted. Then we have to think of... Whoa! Uh, love flying hugs as much as the next guy. This is a little intense, don't you think? Yo, Spidey, I have no control over this. Tombs is just using us. I can't tell you how uncool this is. Agreed. Way uncool. And you're not gonna think this is cool either! There's more where that came from. I'm old enough to remember when the Wake Riders were fun! Spider-Man, are you there? Are you alive? I think so. But I should probably get a second opinion. How can you still make jokes? When every machine in New York hates you, you laugh at anything you can. Oh no, Tombs beat the encryption? This is not how I wanted the mech to be used. Not the time to worry about what should have happened. Let's figure out how to stop what is happening. You don't understand. It's hopeless. Tombs is using straight-up brain to tech. There's no way to disconnect him now. Because uh, we would need to interrupt his mind's control of the machine? Exactly. We'd need someone else's mind to override his. Oh, we're talking about another mind-machine interface. It's not like I built 
a second goblin mech. No, but I do know a machine that just might do the trick. Big problem. It's extremely dangerous. What machine are you talking about? The Nero Cortex? You plan to access the device I once used to swap our minds? Yep. At Horizon High. Ak, you've proven the neural cortex can connect the human mind with technology. If we could override Toombs' signal, we could take control of the goblin mech back from him. Is such a thing even possible? I've literally been inside that machine. I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to reprogram it to do this. At least I hope I can. Call Horizon and tell Max Modell to evacuate all the students working after hours. Call the police. Tell everyone to get inside. Toombs is turning the city into a battlefield. I'll contact the police. You call Horizon? You call Horizon. There is a high probability Modell still does not trust me based on my history. Do you believe Spider-Man's plan is going to work? It may very well succeed, but there will likely be a casualty. Evacuate the school so Spider-Man can use the neural cortex? Is this a prank? Who are you again? Anna Maria Marconi. I teach science at Midtown High. I'm a friend of Spider-Man. And trust me, we don't have a moment to lose. Attention students at Horizon. This is an emergency evacuation. Please clear the building and meet at the designated rendezvous point. Repeat, this is an emergency. <laughs> You could escape me for long. I can access every security camera in this city. And you used all that power just to follow me? I'm flattered. Norman Osborne failed. Octavius and Jackal all take him down. I'm the only one left standing. And I'm going to be the one to finish this. Uh-huh. Any chance you got a spider bot or ten nearby? The spider bots are machines. Tombs would just use them as weapons against you. Go, Spider-Man! I'll keep him busy! It's the least I can do for building that monstrosity! Impossible! I can't take control of your equipment! I built that thing, Toons! You really think I couldn't find a way to secure my own gear? Max! Get to safety! If you're going to use the neural cortex, you're gonna need help. Don't worry! I remember exactly where you and I left it and how to use it. Get out of here. Tubes could bring down the whole school. Spider-Man, you cannot risk using your own brain for this action. While it would truly succeed in stopping Tombs, it could destroy you, possibly tearing you apart at the molecular level. Okay, what are the odds of that actually happening, Ock? My calculations say it is a 98% certainty. someone with as much power as I now possess. I've got complete control of any machine on Earth now. And those above it. I'm sure you're familiar with the Stark Defense Satellites. Face your defeat in my hands, Spider-Man, or this city falls, and it will be entirely your fault! Spider-Man, surrender to me, or many innocent lives will be destroyed. Spider-Man, there has to be a way to buy more time. We have to find a way to limit the danger. There is no more time, Ock. You wanted me to? Here I am! I knew you would not be able to resist. And with my destruction of you, there will be no doubt who is the superior mind. Spider-Man, but I cannot let you do this. I do not need your assistance, Octavius. You, you had your chances to defeat Spider-Man, and, and you have been nothing but a failure. I 
have failed at many things, Tombs. But I will not fail at this. Huck! No! You're no match for the power I now have under my control! As if the two percent chance of survival is unlikely. Don't say that. Don't ever give up. We can disconnect you. The, the energy is overloading like I predicted. There is no more hope for me. Huck. Why did you do this? Is this not what Uncle Ben taught us to do? Is this not what a hero would do? Is this not what a... best friend would do? Yes. It is what a best friend would do. My best friend. Use your great power, Peter. The world needs Spider-Man more than it needs me. Otto might have made many mistakes in his life. He might have been a villain. But he died a hero. In the short time I knew him, I never saw a light shine so bright. Huck never had many friends. It's a shame you and I are the only ones who knew how courageous he truly was in the end. No, Peter. We all know. You know, Ock gave me some of the worst grades of my life. I mean, his tests were a nightmare. So I'm as shocked as anyone to be saying, this entire city owes its existence to him. I could not have had more doubts a person like Otto Octavius could change. But I was wrong. Which is not something I like saying. I always believed Ock had good in him. This year, he really tested that belief. I just wish I had the chance to tell him how proud I am of him. So do I. If anyone should have hope that a person can redeem themselves, it's the son of Norman Osborn. But I was too caught up in my own world to see that Otto Octavius had become as much of a hero and a friend as anyone could ever hope to be. Look, everyone. 
I know it's been a strange year, and I haven't really been myself through all of it. But I want to say, I miss all of you. Midtown is fine, but I always felt like Horizon was my family. It's interesting you say that, Peter. I received a letter yesterday. Apparently, Otto Octavia set aside part of his personal estate as a scholarship to Horizon High for an additional spot to the most valuable applicant. Huh? Really? Who's getting it? Well, Otto happened to write an extremely strong endorsement letter for you, Peter. How would you like to return to your old lab? I... Whoa! I practically gave up on thinking that could happen. <sighs> It'll be good to have you back. I trust you remember where you and I left everything? I agree, Pete. There were times this year you were definitely not acting like yourself. But we never got to truly give Ock a second chance. And we don't want to make that same mistake with you. Welcome back. It's good to be home again.